for the last two seasons, I've been focusing my fishing on Raysby One North Lake over on the Cone Valley. The lake is a 45 acre mature gravel pit that's full of weed, full of features that makes for excellent fishing. One good thing about the weed is that the water is gin clear that makes the fish dark, which is one of the things that appealed to me. So years ago, the lake was joined to the South Lake and only held a handful of carp. About three years ago, the lakes were separated and restocked by RK Leisure. And there's still some originals in here, like Rosie, Jackos, King Fungus, some mega fish. Although every fish is stunning, it's mainly the originals that I'm after. I've been quite lucky to have uh, 11 originals now, with up the top of the bunch, Rosie, Single Scale, Ray-Ban, Paw Print. So yeah, I've been quite lucky with originals. So last season I landed 86 fish. This season I'm on 56 fish. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely made up by that. When I first uh, approached the lake, I knew it was a weedy water. So I just decided to fish the chod. Fishing holes in the weed, just to catapult in like, like sprinkle the baits over the top. But I just, although I had the takes, I just wasn't landing the fish and getting a lot of hook pulls. That's when I knew something had to change. The first thing I did was change some chods to bottom baits and straight away I noticed the uh, difference. I was landing more fish and I was getting more bites. So as I got more bites, I decided to put more bait into the lake, onto my spots with a spawn. So when I put more bait out, I got more bites and I think that was the turning point to my success. I think what was important that I was using a good quality food source bait, i.e. the link, um, the fish just couldn't get enough of it. Every time I was introducing it to the lake, I was having bites every single session. I was having fish, good fish as well, you know. Around this time, there was a real change and the fish wasn't just going over my bait, they was actually searching out my bait. The great thing about getting the fish on the bait is that I was halfway there and all I had to worry about was presenting my rigs and I knew the bites would come. But presenting the bait for me wasn't that easy on a weedy lake. That's when I started to rake my spots and this was a massive edge for me. It allowed me to just turn up, fish my spots, I know they're gonna be clear. All I would use is a little castable weed rake or a sea lead, just cast it out to my spot, pull it back three or four times, clear the weed off, and then I know I've got a nice spot for fishing. A good example of this is when I ended up in a swim called Blake's, fished the rake spots that I'd already done the week before, put some bait out onto the spots, uh, sat back for the night, and then uh, the next morning, I had a couple of bleeps of the right hand rod, and I had the take, I knew it was uh, a decent fish, because of the, the actual take, a lot of the stockies just scream off. I found with the originals, they just you get a couple of bleeps, and then it just tore off, um, and the fish just boiled to the surface, and I knew it was a good fish. It took me into a couple of weed beds. I managed to get it back, and uh, had the chesties on, and went in, I netted the fish, and straight away, I peeled back the weed, and I knew I'd hooked a fish called single scale, um, which weighed just over 32 pound. It was an absolutely amazing fish and it has been on my wanted list for about two years now. So I was absolutely made up with that one. So my bait mix was really simple. It was a link boilies, some whole, some crushed, with a little bit of corn. I was quite fortunate to get some test products off Steve at Mainline. One was a liquid that it's going to be something special when it comes out and the other was a ground bait. So in my last two seasons of Raysbury, I've just seen my results getting better and better and better. My confidence is sky high, which is key to any approach on any lake. 